drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello everyone welcome to edpedia world i am sri radhika sekhal today we are going to start a new topic treasury management treasury management is simply the funds management so when i talk about treasury management i mean that we have to manage the funds of the company so management involves what planning organizing controlling so treasury management is to plan organize and control cash borrowings and cash expenditures so both the cash inflows and outflows are being managed and this function is called as treasury management now what is the motive of treasury management whatever borrowings that the company is taking that should be borrowed at a minimum cost and the investment should give you high yield of return so management or optimization of the interest or you can say cash inflows and minimizing the cost of funds is a science or an art of treasury management so as a treasurer or as a treasury manager a treasury manager should ensure that the funds are available at the right time and also at the right quantity so a treasury manager is responsible to make the funds available at the right quantity and that to at the right time by right quantity it means that the funds which are required for day to day functioning of the organization should be available at that moment of availability or the you can say that whenever it is being required the fund should be adequate it should neither be more than the requirement nor should be less so what happen if it is more than the requirement then there are idle funds in the organization and if they are not appropriate it could bring on certain interest or liability with the organization also that should be available at the right time because many transactions are depend on cash so for the timely execution of those transaction fund should be available at the right time as well likewise that with the funds being available in the organization it should be deployed at the right quantity and at the right time so deployment of funds at the right quantity means whatever surplus funds that the organization has investing them and whatever short term requirements that a company has parking those funds separately so a treasury manager has to create a timetable that when the funds has to be deployed as and when depending on their priority urgency so also these funds required to be deployed at the right time so there are certain funds or you can say there are certain payments which are to be made urgently like you can say certain tax payments which has to be done immediately otherwise that will bring some interest or penalty over the organization also the creditors or you can say the outstanding wages that should be also be paid so that to avoid in default balancing these funds or you can say that maintaining the correct deployment of funds helps the organization to avoid any higher cost because if there is under deployment that could result in higher cost of funds and if there is an over deployment it could result in the funds which remain idle in the organization so whatever you understand from all these four aspects the aim is to minimize the cost of holding those funds and to maximize the return by investing them into their appropriate areas so sourcing of the funds at the right time and you can say at the right quantity that is because that you have to maintain how the data are being realized and how the financing of borrowings have been done so realization of debtors in time what directly has an impact on the profitability of the organization why because it decrease the cost of holding such debtors and also adequate and timely utilization of the borrowed funds if those are available what will happen that there is no strain on looking for the other sources of finance so availability at the right time and at the right quantity and also deploying them at the right quantity and right time will affect the profitability of the organization which is the aim 
or you can say the role the treasury manager plays in the organization right so a treasury manager you can say that it plays role from planning and operations of the organization till maintaining a stakeholder relationship so when you talk about planning and operations a treasury manager has to forecast risk it has to prepare a budget that how the cash flows will be there in different activities how much cash flow is required in operating investing treasury activities so it prepare a budget that how much funds are to be parked for different activities and accordingly it has to manage the flow of funds in the organization so you can say that it looks after the cash and liquidity management so liquidity management is not similar to what treasury management is you can say that liquidity management is a part of treasury management so liquidity management is just ensure that a right amount of cash is available so liquidity management is one of the function that a treasury manager plays in an organization right apart from all these things whatever capital structure that has been framed by a financial manager the treasury manager is responsible to manage that capital structure or you can say the funds in the in that framework so he has to manage the short the medium and the long term investments accordingly since treasurer deals with the cash so it also plays a fiduciary role in organization all the transactions should be accurate and an audit trail has to be maintained also a treasury manager has to borrow funds get the funds approved so it also has to get the project approved in an organization so he is responsible to maintain the relationship with the banks with the credit rating agencies and with all the investors in the organization so if we define the role of a treasury manager it's very vital it starts from a very unit level and a treasurer also plays a vital role at international level so at a unit level you can compare the treasury manager in an organization so you can say that there are very routine duties that a treasurer play like maintaining a track of cash inflows and outflows maintaining a record of all the receivables and payables you can say credit sales deposits loans and advances etc in an organization regularly studying the quantity and quality of current assets and liabilities and the position of liquidity assessing that how much long term or short term solvency of the company and its overall solvency position of the company so this is a function that a treasurer play at a unit level at domestic level this function was being performed by government by maintaining the circulation of amount of money in the organization so organization here is economy also at this domestic or you can say at this national level the scope of treasury manager is to channelize the savings of the community into profitable investment avenues so this role is being performed by the commercial banks what do commercial banks do the commercial banks channelize the savings from the households to the investment avenues and these commercial banks earn profit through their operations and money at international level the scope of treasurer is being played by the forex market so there are many importers and exporters and the exchange of the transaction is being done by through the dealers in the foreign exchange which is regulated by the central bank of a country so at the international level the management of the funds is the management of the foreign currencies so as of now you understood that a treasury manager is very vital role not only at the organization level but also plays a vital role in maintaining the treasury in an economy or you can say growth of an economy in the next class we'll further understand that what is the difference between financial management and treasury management thank you and have a nice day keep smiling